What's up YouTube? I'm Jack and this is Jack Reacts and for today's reaction y'all we got In Vogue Free Your Mind. It has been a long long time since I reacted to In Vogue on the channel. I think the last song I did from them was Hold On and that was probably six or seven months ago. That was an incredible song. Incredible song. I think I've done like two or three songs from them on the channel. They are very, very talented. All the ladies in this group are so talented. Thank you to my patrons who recommended this to me, by the way. That's actually why I picked this. Um, so yeah, if you're a patron, you will get early access to this video. I won't talk any longer though. I got the lyrics pulled up. Let me know what I missed in the comments below and let's go ahead and get right into it. Prejudice. Wrote a song about it? Like to hear it? Here it go. Freedom. Ooh, I like that free your mind. I like that. Oh, okay. I like that. I like that right there. I already get where this is going. The she said. I wear high heel shoes, it doesn't mean I'm a prostitute. That's a very, very prevalent topic, especially right now. You know, I hear that pretty much every day on social media. I see it all the time. You know, women saying, I can dress how I want. That does not mean that I'm a prostitute or that you have the right to objectify me or sexual sexualize me, whatever the case. I 100% stand by that message. They are ahead of their time. <laughs> Hey, I love the um like the rock influence in this. This is very, very different from the other in vogue songs I heard, which would which, which were much more like R and B. Although I will say Don't Let Go, which was the first song I ever reacted to them, kinda has a little bit of a rock influence to them. So I can't be surprised by this. I'm I'm pleasantly surprised, but like I'm not shocked. You get what I mean? Um my favorite part by far though was these lyrics. I actually want to touch on a couple more lines. I touched on the first line, but this whole verse first verse was incredibly powerful. She said, after after the first line, she said, I like rap music, I wear hip hop clothes. That doesn't mean I'm selling dope, right? That it that's another very, very prevalent topic today. I mean, like everything I'm talking about is still taught about today. Um, it, it's it's a big issue. People judging you for what you wear, for what you look like. She said, um, oh my, forgive me for having straight hair. It doesn't mean there's another blood in my air. Another very big misconception, especially when it comes to black women, that it's like all black women got like you know 4c curly kinky hair um which is beautiful hair by the way but no you can be a fully black woman and have looser curls there's also black women that are fully black not mixed that got straight straight hair you know what i'm saying so that that's just the ignorant statement to make just like white folks you know i got my curly hair and there's other white folks that got straight hair everybody has their own genes that's how genes work it's not like all black people look the same got the same features that's not how it works so i love that right there that's actually probably my favorite line <laughs> Right. Oh, that sounds familiar a little bit. That for you. I heard it in the beginning, but now, yay! And that's very true. I will say though, I do disagree with the colorblind thing. I don't agree with like the, you know, the people that are like I don't see color. I don't see color. I don't see race. Yes, you do. Don't be stupid. Unless you're blind. If you're blind, then you don't. But it's perfectly fine to see color. And I like everything else they said. It's perfectly fine to see color, you know, because, uh, you know, a lot of times uh, a race that, that might be correlated with the culture, like black culture. That's a beautiful thing. You don't want to just, you know, wash over that. I mean, that's even worse a lot of times. You want to recognize someone for who they are, but you don't want to judge them like they said or make assumptions or stereotype or, of course, be racist. I think you can be loving and compassionate without being, quote unquote, colorblind and washing away someone's identity. That's just my opinion. <laughs> Mm. 
right? Another stereotype. Never change yourself to appease someone else, to make someone else happy. Now, it's fine if you want to change for your own self, like you're trying to grow as a person or, you know, maybe you're trying to get healthy or physically, whatever the case. But if you're changing for someone else, even if it sometimes even if it's a good change, like, you know, I know for myself, I've been guilty of that. Like, you know, I was fat as a little kid and you know, I want to get healthy and I did it for myself, but at a certain point, I most definitely was doing it for other people, for girls and whatever the case. It doesn't leave you satisfied. You don't get that same satisfaction from it as when you're doing it for yourself. I want to do this and I'm going to do it for myself and I'm going to change. And then once you do it, you're like, yes, I did that. But if you're doing it for other people, and I know she's not necessarily talking about that. She's more just talking about people being racist and judgmental and not wanting to change for other people. But I don't mean to get off topic. Just wanted to say that. Just want to say that. Um, let's get back to it. I love the message. Yeah. It's like rock with like a little new jack swing to it kinda. Like with the, the percussion. Or maybe it's just 80s rock. But that's how the drum sounded then. <laughs> I said then this is the 90s, not the 80s. Hey, and I do love the percussion though. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> It's actually probably my favorite part right here. I like that breakdown. Yeah, I don't know. This chorus is hard too. That might be my favorite part. It's real, like funky. The melody, it's like jazz almost. You know what I'm saying, like. It's a little different. Hey. And one thing about them is I know they can go a cappella with it too. Like in hold on, you know, that that um that like that whole intro, it's like a minute and they're just going a cappella killing it. Like I said in the beginning of this video, all the ladies in this group are extremely talented. That's one of the big, big things I love about in Vogue is it's not just we know one girl on the lead. All of them are capable of leading. Very, very evident right here. Um, I think I said this earlier. I like how they're all switching on and off, like they have equal parts. A very, very powerful song, very, very powerful message, but at the same time, it's a fun song. Those are my favorite type of songs, like especially songs that carry a message, is when the artists make them a little bit fun. Why? Because then you wanna listen to it. Even if you don't really want to listen to the message, or maybe you're just you're not even listening to the message, you're not paying attention. Subconsciously, you're getting that message in. Michael Jackson does that a lot. I love that of him. I love that about him. So it's real cool that they're doing that too. Anyways, shout out to In Vogue. Shout out to all y'all who recommended this to me, especially my patrons. I appreciate y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed the video and y'all have a blessed day, blessed night, whatever part of the world you're watching this in. And peace.